Hey, this is Liz from Her DIY Dream Home. This video, we're going to focus on the ICFs. After we were done with the footings, my plumber came in and did the rough-in underground plumbing with all of the drain lines and such. When he was done, I came back again and then re refilled and compacted the dirt. There was actually a lot of time between finishing my footings and getting my ICFs. Um, the back order was a little bit crazy at that point. So um, I actually used the summer to focus on building my bucks. I used 12 inch pressure treated wood and then cut them down to 11 inches. And then I cut the inside measurement to be my rough opening size. Um, here I am at my property kind of doing more. Initially, I had uh, four windows planned, one in the bathroom and then three large windows that you saw um, in the bedroom area. But after I got everything uh, done, I set them up where they were supposed to be and then realized that maybe I needed some more windows. So I went ahead and made these two foot by two foot square windows, three of them, for an upper wall in my bedroom. The bottom of all the window bucks, I'm using two by four material so that there is a gap in between so that the concrete can be poured underneath the window. That's why it's got this gap here. Um, there was no issue whatsoever with the filling, um, with it overflowing. I just smoothed out the concrete when it came up. And here is a general layout of my windows. Um, as you can see, there is going to be three square windows on the east side and then three extra large windows on the north side facing the view. It was a rainy Friday afternoon when my ICFs were delivered and I was super excited after months of waiting. The driver and I, um, you open the sides of the box trucks and just pushed all of the large four by four by four totes off the back and that was it. Um, the next day was sunny, yay. Um, in the morning, the an ICF expert named Joe Wallace came over and he showed us what to do um, for about an hour. And then um, just me and my mom and my cousin started stacking the walls. This was all the same day. Um, my dad was there as well, and what he did was he worked on adding OSB to the outside of my bucks. The um, ICF installer had suggested doing that so that the windows maintained square when they got poured and installed. So as you can see, I'm attaching all the vertical bracing that same day. We got pretty far along. This might have been day two, actually, you know, I think about it. Um, and then on day three, my ICF installer came back and he actually helped with these kind of angles on the roof. There he is. Um, him and his wife came over, like I said, on Monday, helped with all the angles and did, helped with finishing all of the uh, bracing that happened inside and that corner right there in the back because that was a transition from six inches to eight inches and then Wednesday morning the pump truck came and really early and we pumped the walls I was there just to kind of help out Joe kind of and the operator kind of really did his thing it was done in just a couple of hours and then they went ahead and just smoothed the top Unfortunately, that it set up so fast that I didn't get my anchor bolts in, but that's okay because I think the other way that I ended up doing it was maybe easier. After the forms were all stripped, it was time to work on the floor. We did a little bit more compaction, adding some gravel to make it nice and hard, and then we put down our plastic sheeting as our vapor barrier. And then after that, I added the four inches R20 insulation on underneath the slab. Here's Luna helping me. Uh, the insulation was delivered with the ICFs. So then I used my multi-purpose tool and my skill saw to cut around all the penetrations and made it nice and flat. And then I used a tape to seal all of the joints. 
Then I used rebar mesh to uh, strengthen the slab and use it as a grid work for my radiant heat pipes. And then after that was all done, the next step was to have a company come in and pour the slab. Um, I hired somebody to do this because I've never poured a slab and it's very important because it is my finished floor to get it just right. Um, you can kind of see in there in the background that there is a form of laid out to create a void in the slab and that is for my walk-in shower. I did a curbless version so I just wanted to make sure that the uh, concrete was not there so that I could do my sloped pan. And that's the end of this video. The next is framing the roof. See you soon.